The Sidemen are rich. We yes. have built a $100 million YouTube empire, apparently. I fucking wish, man. Uh, well, according to wish, Dodford, man. who has made this video, um, we, we have, so... How much would I get if we'd made 100? Well, if it's, it depends, because that doesn't mean we have 100 million. How much would it be, though? If, it, if we had 100, you'd get a 7. Four? No, 23. That's not Well, that's, that's way off. Way off. What am I about? That's what you. It's like well, 14. <laughs> that's not bad. That's all right. That's all right. You know, my, my math. Four, 14 ain't bad. I like, I like Simon's <laughs> first answer. Can we take yeah, that you one? Know <laughs> you know what? You get, you get Toby's. <laughs> what? Thank wait, you, bro. Wait. You wow. get 24. Because oh, I've got, I got a child coming, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Toby, you don't, you don't want to help him out with his kid? <laughs> you lot, you lot literally put food on my table. So thank you, Logan. <laughs> you lot the best. Let's go. 22, the side men are international superstars. They're creative pioneers, lucrative businessman and the face of UK YouTube. <laughs> <That clip. laughs> but all this fame and acclaim starts with seven lads in their bedrooms oh. itching for an impossible future. Oh. It's a success oh. story the for the fireplace is going off. But can it ever be done? <laughs> it's lit. The inspirational journey is a decade in the making. So <laughs> 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 and JJ knew each other in school, as did Toby and Josh. They hung out online for a while before inviting Ethan one day in 2013. Vic joined later that year, and the six of them began a GTA group called the Ultimate Sidemen. Fancying oh, one more member, the group was completed with Harry's arrival in early 2014. Uh, do you know how funny it was yet? Yeah. Do you know how funny it is? I swear I made this. You did. You yeah, did. And, you did. Bro, I, used I made it in that bro. every video ever. Some of these people don't know, man. I've been making historic images, okay? In Wait. this one, did you add Harry in the back? I think so, yeah. bro. I think yeah. so. I got a question though. What? Did we, was the ultimate sidemen not a thing before Vic? It was, yeah, it was, because it was us five playing. Yeah, it, yeah. We, we made yeah. the ultimate sidemen as five. And then yeah. we joined. Picks the ultimate, ultimate side, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we only started like branding things properly like once we, we was regularly doing it, I think. Yeah. So. Fancying one more member, the group was completed with Harry's arrival in Wait. early 2014. Yes. All seven were creating individually on their own channels. Before the <laughs> to join the force. Cars, this dude talking bro. at 1.2. I look so swollen. I look like I've been stung by a wasp. <laughs> or something, bro. Bro, the makeup I got put on me that day. Look oh, at the me. makeup was horrendous, Look at me. bro. <laughs> like, Josh, oh, looks, Josh looks like he's ready to give someone a kissy. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, the Sidemen were born. That was before he ate another Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the first year was a quick success. <laughs> Their GTA videos found traction, and clearly the boys had stumbled upon something interesting. <laughs> So, so much so, so that with their growing platforms, Bro, free play used to be the best though. <laughs> free <laughs> free was play just, was the best. You just die in front of someone. Hey, jeez, AA9 skills. Hey, KSI oh, and friends. KSI and friends. KSI and friends. KSI and friends. KSI and friends, man. Bro, that's up. AA9 and friends. I don't even know his people. No, no. You, you know all of them, bro. What Who? was the. That's AA9. Clutch. 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 That one on the right is Bateson. <laughs> yeah. That was the best YouTube video ever. Blowing up KSI and friends' car. <laughs> <laughs> they left their parents' homes and created the Sidemen House. Hey, hey. Look at that. All the house. That house looks so hey. nice. Oh, oh. It was here that the Sidemen's output hit maximum overdrive. With nothing to do besides overdrive. record videos all day. <laughs> oh, day. Yeah. oh my god. Oh, YouTube channels oh grew that noise. And grew and grew. All things considered, they'd landed in the perfect setup. They were doing what they loved in an environment that encouraged it while living with their closest mates. But for many of them, <laughs> I'm sure this was a crossroads moment. There, it was bro. a huge risk moving into a house with practically strangers. YouTube wow. was big at the time, but being a YouTuber, it wasn't quite respected yet. This is really well made. At least I'm sure not from their parents. Sure, the value of the job was revealing itself. <laughs> and they were young, finding their feet, working out who they were. Was it the right decision? <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Subscribers in an hour. I'm gonna go and do more. They were kids chasing a um, dream. Seven lads who wanted oh, a different life. 300 to subs in an hour. Along the way. Bro, but you used to bark off. <laughs> Shit, man, we're going somewhere. Yeah. I need to do more of it. I need to do more of it. Play, record, yeah. edit, sleep, repeat, over and over. They put the graft in. Days at their desks. Graft. They were only just sniffing. Something was forming here. And millions began to notice. Uh, he's gassing us up, yeah. Bro, I was about to he's say, you know what, man? I'm getting bricked up. <laughs> I'm fucking useless, but you're making me sound good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> as well as colleagues, they were truly best friends. Oh, okay. And that bit was sick, though. That clip was sick. All in sync. Parts of the group. But a side effect of broadcasting That's the so lives the boys were is something interesting. We felt like a member, too. Well, it was intimate. 
When the fans <laughs> that was the arm run. The, the arm run is the arm run still so good, man. Belt. <laughs> you know what? Like you and Harry are still dickheads for this. <laughs> Wait, why? Why? Bro, he opened the door and you lot slapped him in the face <laughs> with shaving cream. Are you telling me you haven't done worse shit, bro? You got it in his eye and all over the walls. He hates stuff in his eye. You've done that to him before, bro. No, nah, not like that. I know. <laughs> you got it over his wall. You don't even live there. <laughs> you lost the deposit. <laughs> no, no, don't blame me for that. Character archetypes were formed. It didn't take long to expect Vic to be bullied. Fuck you, sorry. <laughs> JJ to do something weird. <laughs> <laughs> or Ethan to laugh hysterically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've gone from one-man shows to a sitcom cast. Oh, your head was bare around, around, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> the European Union. We have a disaster called the big lie. <laughs> the mid-2010s were the golden era of YouTube vlogging. Despite coming from backgrounds in gaming, the side men were finding great serious. success in their real-life content. Of course, YouTube was bustling with this stuff back then. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm oh, the Buckridge. Casper, was that the actual name? Butter creams. Yeah, I don't think it was an official thing. Oh, but did we just call it the butter creams? No, I wasn't involved. I think it was. No, it was, but I don't like. They never did, you know, like they never branded. No, they never dished out like a butter cream T-shirt. Yeah, they wouldn't do like a butter cream Halloween tea or something like that. I don't know that. The platform for years, but many of these guys are nowhere to be seen in 2022. Well, that's why Joe Sugg said, "My audience have all grown up, or the audience I had back then. They're all now in their twenties. The stuff that I knew how to make back then is not what they want to consume now as content." Which means one thing. They didn't adapt well enough. Jeez. Not like the Sidemen. And welcome to Gassing us the up again. Sidemen and channel. 2016 was, was a pivotal year for the Sidemen. Was nice. It was time to expand, nice. attempt new things. Their shared channel was born just in time for their first charity football match. That was it, man. From the Sidemen. They tightened up their branding, hired the right people, no, they did and like a decision 30. was made to slowly phase out their gaming content in favor of their newer project, Sidemen Sunday. Jeez. Oh. Who's the only person? We, I swear TP is the only person we hired at this point. By this point, we haven't hired her. No, when we, we started Sidemen Sundays. No, oh, no we, we haven't. Did no, we Sidemen haven't. Sundays to do we, the Sidemen show on our channel. We had channel. to show them that we could get views, right? Yeah. So at this point, we haven't hired anyone. No, uh, no. We had Will Brophy. Did we have Will Brophy? Yeah. We had Will Brophy. Every Sunday started modestly, with standard trends and ideas. It didn't take long, however, for those ideas to expand. I miss these videos, man. A growing budget. These videos with the Sidemen really <laughs> seeing the... their creative potential. The combination of adolescence and <laughs> Wait, this is a sick shot. I forgot I did that. The Sidemen channel raked in millions of in a dress. and larger corporations <laughs> noticed. Yes. In 2018, the group announced the Sidemen Show. That, that was cold. Published on YouTube what Originals, a banger that is. The seven-part series was the boys' first dip into <laughs> traditional media. With professional crews and budgets, the Sidemen were equipped with real production value as well as celebrity co-stars. This series had all the good. bells and whistles of larger productions, but still- You know what? Like, we went to Russia, it. innit? Like, we went to bro, Russia we went and went to zero G. Russia, <laughs> Russia, it's mad. I think we just do a drive-by move, like you get your ass and we just drive-by and load oh, the people. Oh, oh, look at his arms, look, he spreads it as well. The worst thing is that he spreads it. <laughs> I don't know why, you know when you move Despite someone, this, you don't need to show them your arms. No. Yeah, like the actual asshole. Production value. <laughs> Wanting to take matters into their own hands, but knowing they'll need help, they laid their eyes on talent manager Tanya Dude. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Come on, TV. Oh, like, no, like, do you want to be our per personal manager? Why does that sound like a proposal? Thought about it. It's just like, <laughs> fuck it, let's go. Let's see what happens. How long has she been with us now? Yeah. This catalyzed a new Five era years. of Sidemen Sundays. Bigger mm. ideas, larger right. budgets, and longer and longer screen time. And Hours longer. of content for fans <laughs> to consume mm -hmm. every single Sunday. Oh! It became an <laughs> instrumental part what of the fans' week. They were I was about to say this. This yeah. video, yeah, it's just summing up that I get violated constantly. It's also showing you that you do stuff like this and you deserve no, it. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> they were consistent. Please tell everybody your hey, favourite magic spell. <laughs> <laughs> that regularity, alongside the boys' hunger to keep pushing, forced the Sidemen into the mainstream. Jeez. This holiday video, in which the boys split up into a cheap and expensive group, went platinum. On paper, it's two hours of ads abroad. But the views don't lie. This video is pure entertainment. I love that video. 
it is good. good. Beneath the extensive planning and absorbing performances, there's an effective story here. It's a real heartwarming moment. I'm happy right now. The side men were now operating at their highest <laughs> some wholesome shit, which man. means they had a lot to lose. How could they ensure all of this success didn't start crumbling? The side men are made up of more fame, Very good video. money, and influence than they ever expected. They become gone from gaming after school. <laughs> to the they treat everybody they work with like shit. Sure to go to the heads of most. But the boys never forgot their roots. A system had to be put in place to keep each other grounded. Right, you sacrifice personal goals and achievements also for, for a group in, in achievements. And it's not because it's just like brand achievements, it's oh, wow. we're friends, right? The side men are pretty clear oh. about who's in charge. Oh, man. No one. Even they knew from day one video, that keeping it democratic would eliminate ego. With guy. no leader, everyone has equal <laughs> priorities. See that, right? you and see that seating position? Every side yeah. side. I'd still argue what? that the person in the middle is the leader. Uh, Do you know what I would say? I wouldn't say that they are the leader because they're all sat on the grand chair, okay? But if you walk just, in that room, whoever's right in front of you in the middle, you're, you're saying that's well, the It looks like the new fucking sidecar set, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't in any way. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It oh, does. It's, it's, it's the same curve. Seven it's, curve. <laughs> it's the same curve. Yeah. It has equal priority and responsibility. Every Sidemen Sunday you watch was assigned to a specific member whose job it was to organize and oversee the whole project. When a video is completed, it's tallied up on a spreadsheet. This is a good explanation. Who well done. The goal Very is to rotate this assignment around with responsibility mm. being shared equally. But this is only half the system. Man, yeah, How man. did the Sidemen eliminate tardiness? The oh card system is a way of ensuring accountability. And if you're 30 minutes late to a shoot, you get a yellow card. Two late and a red card. With the red card, a Sidemen Sunday you directed is now it's scrubbed off your tally. It's JJ. Why is yeah. this bad? Because now well you're done. behind the rest of the group. And remember, the goal is for this tally to be equal amongst all of them. Next time the video <laughs> is assigned... No, we do that, yeah. yeah we should have a screenshot right, right now. <laughs> you can do it at a later date. For the benefit of six of your friends, you're going to do it. If you get yellow cards, you have to put more work in then. Mm -hmm. The more you yeah. let the team down, <laughs> the more work you do. This decision might be the key factor why the group is still so strong today. The group takes priority, and they've all recognized this. Their longevity oh, is a result of discipline and selflessness. But it would be criminal also to selfless. leave their team out of this. So For years, selfless. the Sidemen boys were jack of all trades. You have to be when starting YouTube. This meant knowledge of hey, sound, JJ's camera, like marketing, distribution, <laughs> design, it might be worse. Editing. But there's a crucial stage in every creator's growth right, where they have to leave that control behind. We have a couple people that are so essential to the I'm whole totally operation now because digital. they've come in something. and they've just put us <laughs> first on yeah. a daily basis. And today, so they have an well expert off. team of specialists you, that help bring you. their dreams to reality. Dozens of employees that help on thumbnails all the way up to building It's businesses. a shame about John they've though, isn't it? They've recruited powerful people <laughs> that helps complete the Sidemen puzzle. I, and in doing so, the group's job so titles rude. have evolved. I think the one thing that's very different about being uh, a video creator is that to do it as a job, you have to become a distributor. As they've aged, I don't qualities get in management, super... What do you mean? To be a what? video creator and do it as a job, you have to become a distributor. Yeah, because you have to learn how to publish your content. Yeah. You have to publish your content and get it out there and make sure people stay watching it and continue yeah. okay. to do it. I get it. By the start, when we turned it into a job, we were literally just video. Yeah, yeah. And, and that is still the purity of it, is that you are that, but you've just learned how to do things to make no, it... No, but at the start, you're everything because you're doing it on your own. You're my everything. Oh, I'm gonna That's cry. Cute. Vision and leadership have had to form. Morning. A spirit for enterprise emerged, <laughs> and many successful business ventures are thanks to the behind the scenes help. Because of this rock solid foundation and guidance, it's really hard to see the Sidemen slowing down anytime soon. You guys really could do Sidemen forever. <laughs> Meanwhile, every week we're like, guys, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we start posting less? Should we start? Yeah, I reckon next year's the last year, you know? <laughs> and have it, it forever. Maintain your lifestyle. Forever. <laughs> I'm sure the Sidemen look back on their journey as a bit of a fever dream. <laughs> They've accomplished so much, and every step is still there to be watched. Just 10 years ago, they were kids playing FIFA in their bedrooms. They didn't know their place in the world, what was destined for them. They just had the balls to imagine. It took oh. creative thinking, an endless drive, and a whole lot of responsibility. Jeez. But the Sidemen paved their own path. And as impossible as it seems now, I'm sure back then, they felt the same way.
YouTube today might seem like an impenetrable fortress, like Ugh. the stars are already established. But the world latched onto the Sidemen for who they were. Oh. You don't need a million dollars or a dedicated yeah, Jimmy. Oh, at Mr. B. Yeah, Jimmy, you hear that? That's you. I do need a million dollars. Though. One Please. <laughs> Anything is possible if you just believe in it and do the fucking work. Oh, Jesus! I so all right, go watch Dodford though, still, because that was um. Yeah, that was hard. That Drop was a really like well on that video. One. That's a yeah. sick video. So and we made evident. that video like a year ago, but just yeah. really shit. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, when yeah. we were just sat on the couch and we were like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then, so that happened. Then we met them, and then um, yeah. yeah, then we did that. <laughs> Me and Harry were playing mm. fucking <laughs> rock paper scissors in the corner. <laughs> Doing that video. He filtered out all the bullshit and put some cool graphics. Some good shit yeah. in there, man. Shout well out, Dodford. Check it out. Good fit, man.